Hey, uh, figured I'd make a video. Uh, a lot of people, there were so many questions, and I had some questions about um, the Aquatrax milky water. But since I have uh, all these engines out, I figured I'd show everybody what could go wrong with them. Uh, these are turbo models. That one over there is a um, NA, and that one's an NA. That one's being trying to finish that one so I could rebuild it but anyway um, the milky oil the passage of the water or the cooling system in this um, ski is comes from the back the jet uh, passes through the hose goes underneath comes up here into the oil cooler which those are known to go bad ah, well I can't say known to go bad, but sometimes they leak. If you never flush it or anything, like it'll come, the passage comes in here, the oil cooler is right there. There it goes, that's better. There's the oil cooler, goes right here. These O rings, super cheap, go bad. And I was like, replace those. It's what creates the seal for this. Uh, this one, I just pressure test it. Make sure it's good. Change the so the passage of water goes in here, fills up this chamber. I had actually one of the engines had a crack behind here because this leads all the way through, and water could seep in through here because there was a crack on it. Never really seen that happen, but all of this seals up. And so, oh, anyway, the passage of the water comes through here, fill this chamber up, goes out the cover, which is this cover, and comes out through here, circulates through the block, from the block goes through the head, and goes through, comes out the, let's do it on this one, through that hose, and out. And pretty much that's the circulation of it towards the engine. A lot of the times they say people who have milky, tend to have a crack in their manifold that does not create a milky oil situation like this right here um, it'll like I one of my friends has a non-turbo what he's getting it once he starts it after a while water gets inside the chambers and it won't start anymore so water is leaking through the manifold fall going inside the, um, the chamber and locking up so basically whenever I take out all the spark plugs and we crank it it starts it'll shoot out a whole bunch of water but it'll start the moment you put it into the water as long as it's running you won't have any issue the moment you shut it off the water is gonna get into the head but that's it a lot of other ones will say like the turbo it has a cooling system right here. It's water cooled. It comes through here also. Uh, never run into this issue, uh, but they I've seen on the forums where they'll say that they'll leak. Um, I try to flush these as much as, but some of these I buy a lot of them broken, so I just rebuild it, take take it apart, and so I got a whole bunch of extra parts. But that's the cooling passage and. I don't know, I'll probably post a video how to do the timing and everything. I got another one to show you how to take the engine out within an hour. If it's been serviced before, as in all the bolts have been broken into or broken off. As in you don't have anything seizing. What I did have quite a bit of the times, which is twice, is this. The port. The bolts break off. So what I ended up having to do is... And it's not like you could really use an extractor, so I kind of just figuring something out. <laughs> kind of cuts into the side to get to the because um, it oxidizes and the bolt is stuck in there. So I cut through it, put some PB blast, let it soak, and eventually was able to get it out. But because I cut so deep on it, I ended up using um, what's that called JB weld put a bolt in surrounded it with JB weld so it recreated the threads 
and that was my easiest cheapest solution to solve that and besides that that's about it so far i'll post something else on the actually on this one i'm all of these turbo lines are pretty much broken so i bought a turbo kit or some steel braided lines which is not recommended because it's water <coughs> but it's so much cheaper than getting the actual hose and I get the custom and it it looks good so that's my next project so I'll start posting everything on these so if anybody has one of these and want to repair it I'll show you how to do the timing I'll try to post as many videos as I can so happy skiing <laughs>